Alright, let's pick it up here. We can't go in that direction. So, this is the only option we have. Let's see, is there something here? I don't think I can cross there. Huh, guess I can. I'm gonna head to this area. And, uh, use a tent here because everyone's in pretty bad shape. So, let's save here while we're up here. And having undergone so much. I'm looking around for something here. Let's see. That's where I find it. That's where the crucifix is. Now, in this game, there are four crucifixes. And I'll just let you know one of them you can only get towards the final boss area. Okay, over here. Some more reminiscing. Okay, so she has a... She found a dream catcher. They, she really didn't exactly talk about her mother and father. Though Yuri does know about both. For some reason. Though he was a bit resentful about his father. As was mentioned in Covenant. Okay. We got a new accessory called Dream Porter, and what that does is equip it to Shania, and she enters battle automatically with a full stock gauge. So, I, I can't really do that at the moment, because I have, obviously, the flare brooch. I also have the warning device, which is needed. Otherwise, I would get surrounded. And a coral pendant to slow down her ring. So, this is what I can do at the moment. I'm just gonna save here after finding the dream catcher thing. Okay. Now we have some ways to do the, to go. Skip that fight. I'm not supposed to be here. Okay. Now, I apologize for doing this at the moment. I have promised you not to do this, that I won't be doing this, but I won't be doing it very often, like every battle. So what I decided to do was, since these were so spaced far apart, and I don't want them to get a turn ahead of me, I can only do one... What I thought was a good idea at the time is to use Milk Crest. Because even if I do fail, uh, Mao and Shania get a turn after Ricardo instead of if I didn't do it. Okay. I just didn't like these things and I was sick of encountering them since I didn't exactly remember where some of these uh, booby traps were. Or you can call them booby traps. Okay. Over here, this is where the third fetish is, so we need to look for the fourth, and it's this way. So we're actually heading to the Altar of the Sky. The sad thing about the is that the raw files actually, at this moment, is going to be cut a little short. Because there was a cutscene I didn't want to skip, and it ran a little long. No, I don't see, because that is a really sad thing to do. To take the power of a spirit just to get your own revenge, it's just... kind of sad. Okay, over here there's a... Where is it? It's really well hidden, but if you look... There it is. Last one. 
So he found all four fetishes for an unknown fusion. This is not so much reminiscing, it's just that... There's a new altar by where... Uh, Sh Shania made her, uh... Soul contract with the Thunderbird. There's going to be a lot of dialogue scenes, or probably a couple, and it's... So, ultimately, what this is going to lead to is not going to happen for a while. So we have quite a ways to wait. Okay. I guess the, uh, Judgment Ring thing is pretty universal. Since, uh, I was on the floor in the... That one demonic castle that Rasputin summoned, and it's here. Let's save here. And we are in... The Sun's Sacred Area. So, we got the power of the... Of the sky. The oceans and the earth, so what is left? Huh. Then again, if you did see the trailer of this, uh, though I didn't exactly show it, it has kind of implied. Okay, this is gonna take a bit. Because we have a cutscene, and this is the only side quest cutscene in this game. No wait, there's a second one after this, this moment. Alter? I'm starting to feel a great strength. The spirits inside me. They're starting to stir. Um, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who's that? Should I find myself rejoicing? That's kinda of mean thing to say, but should I turn instead? Sadness to grief. You know, Johnny doesn't exactly know who that was, anyways. Father, it's you? I lost my body. Now, this was actually a good reason because, um, for this cutscene. Because Okanagan somewhat implied it, and, uh, Shania's father just, uh, presses it a little bit. This is the sacred altar of Tirawa, the spirit who rules over the sun. It is okay, the so life we will the get the power of the sun now. The symbol of life. Could it be? Does this have to do with the woman attacking our village? The power of the sun can even purify the evil of humanity. It could be that that being was led here by instinct, and so the village was destroyed. But we were vigilant and able to protect the altar. Everyone in the village, just for the altar? Well, we don't really want to Rawa in the wrong hands, now do we? Itself. Please, you must understand that. And understand this, you are the one who is fated to inherit the Sun Spirit. But wait! If I gain the power of the Sun Spirit, Here it comes. does that mean that I can avenge everyone? Of course. Even now, you can only think of vengeance. Perhaps it is the red light embedded in It's kind of sad that she's really hard-headed so in that... Vengeful. She just ignores everyone about revenge. Okay, Shania, your secret is out. How does it... How do you feel? The spirit of the sun. The first spirit. Is an all-powerful... So basically, all Okanagan's implying... Uh, vengeance not the path, and her father is saying that as well. Okay. Let's hope she listens. Uh, we're running out of time, so let's wrap up.